In this module, we will discuss TCAS 2, the Traffic Alert and Collision Avoidance System 2. Let's begin with a brief overview. TCAS is an independent onboard alerting system. TCAS interrogates transponder equipped aircraft and calculates range, bearing, and altitude. TCAS 2 provides traffic separation by pitch commands only. TCAS then predicts current flight paths and time to closest point of approach. TCAS displays traffic information using symbols on the ND. If traffic requires special attention from the crew, TCAS issues voice enunciations, traffic symbols on the ND, and if necessary, pitch commands on the PFD. Traffic traffic. All traffic symbols, advisories, and voice enunciations will be discussed later in the module. Let's now discuss the controls and indicators. The EFAS control panels and the ATC transponder panel control the display of TCAS information. TCAS pitch commands are displayed on the PFD. TCAS messages and symbols are displayed on the ND. The traffic switch labeled TFC on the EFAS panel controls the ND display. Pushing the TFC switch either displays TCAS data or turns off the data. With TFC on, the ND displays advisory data with either approach, VOR, or map selected. The centered mode only provides data when map is selected. Two positions of the transponder mode selector, TA only and TARA, provide inputs to the TCAS computer for processing and display. When TA is selected, only TA information is displayed. Selecting TARA provides both advisories for display and enunciation. In the TA position, resolution advisories are inhibited and TA messages are displayed on the ND. In this mode, TCAS can only issue traffic advisories. Caution. Significant collision avoidance protection information is lost since resolution advisory traffic will be displayed as a traffic advisory. When TCAS modes are not selected on the transponder mode selector, TCAS is disabled and the TCAS off message is displayed on the ND. TCAS RA pitch commands are displayed on the PFD. TCAS TA and RA traffic with data are shown on the navigation displays. Now let's discuss TCAS symbols and data which can be displayed on the ND. Symbols for each type of advisory or traffic display will appear on the ND. A data tag may accompany the traffic symbol. The data tag will be the same color as the symbol. The altitude of the traffic in relation to your airplane is shown in hundreds of feet. A plus or minus sign and placement of the data tag above or below the symbol displays the vertical position of the traffic. The left example indicates 500 feet above and the right example indicates 1,000 feet below.
an arrow is displayed to the right of the traffic symbol if the vertical speed of the traffic is greater than 500 feet per minute. TFC must be selected on the EFIS control panel to display TCAS symbols and data on the ND. The TFC mode message will appear when the selection is made. Whenever an RA or TA is issued by TCAS, a red or amber traffic message is also displayed on the ND. This message is displayed whether or not TFC is selected on the EFIS control panel. In this example, TFC has not been selected. However, the amber and red traffic messages indicate TCAS has issued advisories. Selecting TFC displays the traffic symbol and data tag on the ND. The traffic message is displayed for any ND range or mode and is one of the ways TCAS alerts you an advisory has been issued. Question. Answer A is correct. The traffic message is displayed whenever TCAS advisories are issued, whether or not TFC is selected on the EFIS control panel. Selecting TFC displays TCAS symbols and data on the ND. Remember, when TFC is selected, the blue TFC message appears on the ND. Now let's discuss advisories provided by TCAS. TCAS issues traffic advisories and resolution advisories. First, we'll discuss the traffic advisory, also known as a TA. A TA is considered a caution and is issued when TCAS detects a transponder-equipped aircraft and predicts it will pass close to your airplane, but with safe separation. The TA is issued approximately 40 seconds before the intruder aircraft is predicted to reach the closest point of approach to your airplane. The voice enunciation Traffic Traffic sounds when TCAS issues a traffic advisory. It is intended to direct your attention to the traffic situation. It is not repeated. The TA symbol is also displayed on the ND. If the intruder aircraft is providing transponder altitude information, the data tag is displayed with the symbol. If the intruder is beyond the range setting of the ND, the traffic and off-scale messages are displayed. The color depends on the type of the advisory. RAs are red, TAs are amber. Increasing the ND range will display the intruder on the ND. The displayed position of the TA aircraft is updated continuously. This example shows an aircraft at 1030, bearing 100, range 18 nautical miles, which then progresses to 11 o'clock, bearing 120, range 9 nautical miles. The aircraft has descended from 1,500 feet above our altitude at 18 nautical miles to 500 feet above our altitude at 9 nautical miles. If current trends continue, the intruder should cross our flight path 5 nautical miles off our nose and 500 feet below our altitude, descending. If TCAS cannot determine the bearing to the intruder, a message on the ND provides distance to the intruder 
and data tag information, if available. The TA symbol will not be displayed. In this example, TCAS cautions of an intruder at 6.8 nautical miles, 1,100 feet below you, and climbing. Next, we'll discuss the Resolution Advisory, known as an RA. An RA is a warning and is issued when TCAS detects a transponder-equipped aircraft, providing altitude information that will pass your airplane without adequate separation. The RA will be issued approximately 25 seconds before the threat aircraft will reach the closest point of approach. Now let's discuss different resolution advisories and some examples. For new RAs or changes to existing RAs, TCAS provides a voice enunciation and PFD vertical guidance to increase separation. TCAS also announces termination of RAs. First, we will discuss new resolution advisories. When a new RA is issued by TCAS, one of these five voice enunciations will sound. Let's look at some examples. TCAS commands a climb. A voice enunciation to climb will sound. Climb. 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 And the red pitch command will appear on the PFD. Climb at the pitch required to keep the airplane outside the red area. In this example, a descend crossing descend command is given. Descend crossing descend. Descend crossing descend. Smoothly and promptly start a descent, crossing through the threat aircraft's altitude, but with safe separation. If the monitor vertical speed command sounds, Monitor vertical speed. Monitor vertical speed. Avoid deviation into the red area. Next, let's discuss situations where TCAS must change an existing RA. The increased climb RA increases pitch of an existing climb RA. Increase climb, increase climb. TCAS changes the pitch command on the PFD. If the climb, climb now command is given, Climb, climb now. Climb, climb now. TCAS reverses an existing RA descent to a climb. The transition to a climb must be promptly and smoothly accomplished. Finally, we'll cover termination of an RA situation. When TCAS determines separation is increasing from the threat, a clear of conflict voice enunciation sounds. Clear of conflict. The RA has ended and the pitch command is removed from the PFD. Remember, RA information is also displayed on the ND. In this example, a descent is commanded. Descend. 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 To increase separation from a threat aircraft 500 feet above you. Question. Both answers A and B are correct. With TFC selected, a resolution advisory will provide both voice enunciation and PFD guidance, as well as a display of symbols and data on the ND. Let's look next at traffic displays. 
Broadcast displays symbols for proximate traffic and other traffic on the ND. This alerts you to other transponder-equipped aircraft in your vicinity. We'll discuss proximate traffic first. Aircraft close to your airplane but predicted to maintain safe separation are displayed on the ND as proximate traffic. Now we'll discuss other traffic. Other traffic is well away from your aircraft and displayed on the ND when within the selected display range. Let's discuss situations where TCAS advisory information is inhibited. At low radio altitudes or if a ground proximity warning or wind shear warning occurs, TCAS voice enunciations are inhibited and TCAS operates in the TA only mode until the inhibit ends. If an RA is in effect when an inhibit occurs, the RA voice enunciation will cease. Descend. Descend. And PFD pitch guidance will be terminated. Now let's look at non-normal operation of TCAS. ICAS advisory message TCAS off is displayed if TCAS is not operating. All TCAS information is disabled. The ICAS advisory message TCAS RA followed by the crew position informs the crew member that TCAS RA pitch commands cannot be displayed on the respective PFD. ICAS advisory message TCAS system is displayed if TCAS cannot display RA pitch guidance on either PFD and cannot display messages or traffic symbols on either ND. If the ICAS advisory message EFAS ICAS CP is displayed, the EFAS control panel is inoperative and TCAS cannot display messages or symbols on the respective ND.